The time has finally arrived. I am just about to embark on the Goggins Challenge. The Goggins Challenge is to run four miles every four hours for 48 hours. At the end of it, I would have run 48 miles or 77 kilometers. That's the goal. Now, it's the middle of the day on a Friday. It should be done sometime in the morning on Sunday. But even though it's the middle of the day, I'm a bit tired just getting started. I think I'm, I'm just nervous to get going and get out there for the first run. This is my video of the Goggins Challenge. I am gonna rotate four pairs of shoes over the next 48 hours. So each shoe will be worn three times for a total of 12 miles each. I'll be running in my Atreyu, The Battle Lies Within, my Ultra Torin 4.5s, my New Balance 1080 version 11, and then the Reebok Forever Energy 3. Rinse and repeat three times. Let's get out there. Ready to head out on my first run of the Goggins Challenge. It is a, it's a gorgeous day right now. It's a nice time to get started. Let's get going. I'm checking in after about half a mile and I'm feeling pretty fresh. Is that surprising to anyone? All right, 47 and a half miles to go over two days. Okay, the first run was a, an astounding success. I felt good the whole time. It's likely because I haven't run since early morning yesterday, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. First four miles is in the bag. The weather was gorgeous, 73 degrees or 23.33 Celsius. Let's get some rest for a couple hours, and then we'll do it again. Run number two, let's go. All right, second run. Eight miles in the bag of 48 miles total. This was another nice and easy run, really no complaints. It warmed up a little bit as it got later in the afternoon. 76 degrees Fahrenheit or 24.44 Celsius. Now I'm gonna go home and have a super early dinner so I can let everything digest before my next run. Time to get showered. Are you drinking that and running in like three hours? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh my God, okay, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. I don't know if this is the best idea, but oh. we'll find out. And if it's a bad idea, I won't do it tomorrow night. Cheers, everyone. Coming out for the third run, and this one is just a little trickier because I've had dinner in between the last run and this run. So now I'm nice and full. I'm getting a bit tired because now would be the usual time that I go to bed, but stay on the grind, right? Okay, run number three, coming up. Run number three done. This one was, uh, this one, as I said before, a little tricky to get going, but I warmed up nicely and I felt good towards the end. Another four miles in the bag. And the temperature getting pretty nice. It's cooling down. It's dropped to 64 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 17.78 Celsius. And I think for my next run, it's gonna be even cooler. I am gonna try and get at least a couple hours sleep. Okay, so here's the thing. It is almost midnight and I'm getting out to go for my fourth run. And I think I've discovered the real challenge about this Goggins challenge. Because I was unable to go to sleep because my legs were a bit achy. But that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that I can't calm down quick enough in order to go to sleep. I've kind of got a bit of anxiety because I'm waiting. I know I have to wake up and go for a run. I'm still like pumped and ready to go. And all that does not make a good situation for sleep. I'm hoping I'm going to be so tired after I come back from this run that I should be able to get a couple hours, but stay tuned. But first, let's knock out this run. Oh, that's it, another four miles and I am wide awake. I, I can't believe I have to go to bed. Try and get a couple hours for that next run. Oh, and the weather just got absolutely fantastic. 13.89 Celsius or about 57 Fahrenheit. Beautiful. Okay, got to try and get some sleep. I'll see you in a second. I am just about to get started on leg five. And I realized this because I did actually get about 90 minutes of sleep uh, before I came out and it was very tough to wake up. And I'm realizing I don't think I could run much further than four miles for this distance. The four miles seems pretty doable. When I'm going out now, uh, I'm pretty excited to just knock it out and be done with it. But if it was too much longer, five or six miles, that'd be more of a challenge. Anyway, this is more than enough challenge for me to handle. And I am glad that this is my last night run because I think it's just going to get a bit easier once the sun's up. Anyway, let's knock this out. 
Okay, that's run number five in the book. So a total of 20 miles. I had an interesting observation as I was running that on this run, I had the first kind of feelings that I do when I'm running an ultra marathon. So when you're out there running for hours and hours and hours, I had that same feeling, that kind of fatigue. I have to watch out. I'm I've got a little spider dangling down right in front of my head. So I had that same feeling of fatigue and I was thinking to myself that this challenge would be an excellent way to train for an ultra marathon. Now, there is no getting around running for hours and hours and hours. It is a different feeling, but I'm just saying that I did notice something, some similarities. And I think it's the fatigue in my body that I'm feeling right now moving forward. And obviously tiredness. I really can't wait to go back to bed right now. Oh, weather report. The temperature actually climbed a couple degrees. It is now 59 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius. Still gorgeous, but I did break a sweat. So I'm off to shower and off to bed. See you in a couple hours. The time between when I finished my run and showered and everything was about 5 a.m. I then went to bed and slept like a baby until about 7.40. Now I'm about to go out on my next run and it's light outside, so I'm looking forward to that. Why don't you come on with me? Come on, it's time to go. First run of the next day is in the bag and I just wanna tell you that that little spider that was here last night has gone. I hope he didn't drop in my hair and I crawled into my mouth while I was sleeping. Does anyone else think of things like that? Another four miles are in the bag, marking the halfway point. I have logged 24 miles of the 48 miles Goggins Challenge. The temperature heated up just a little bit, 63 degrees Fahrenheit or 17.22 Celsius. It's nice and cloudy, might be getting some rain later. Now I know I said that I thought it was gonna get good once the sun was up and I went out, but this was the first run where I struggled to get going. It took me a good, good couple miles before I started feeling good again. Time for shower and then breakfast. Okay, getting ready to head out on my seventh run. Gosh, I'm losing, losing count. Yeah, my seventh run, it's nice and cloudy. Oh, this is gonna be a good run. This is what I'm gonna harness in the middle of the night tonight when I'm tired and I don't feel like running. I'm totally fresh right now. Just got off the bike after a 20 minute spin. I'm gonna enjoy this one. I will check in in just a second. Okay, run number seven, and you can probably see it's a little wet outside. It started to just pour about half a mile into my run, so yeah, I got soaked. I was a bit nervous because I did have the media mod on the GoPro, and when I put the media mod on it, it isn't waterproof anymore. I just shoved it in a pocket, and it seems to be working okay. So not only is it raining, it is 64 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 17.78 degrees Celsius. It was nice, and the rain was actually perfect. I could not have asked for a better run. Now, between you and me, I don't want this to be raining in the middle of the night. I need as few barriers as possible. Anyway, shower time. I thought it was gonna be raining for this one, but it looks like it's pretty nice out. Let's knock this out. This is gonna be run number eight, eight of 12, coming up. That room was a little warm, 66 degrees, but the sun is just right on me. And that is 18.89 Celsius. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I am gonna have dinner now and I'm gonna move through the next three runs pretty quickly. I'm just gonna do a little bit for the next three runs and then I will really check in on my last run, which will be tomorrow morning. I have to tell you, I'm really not looking forward to the next four runs overnight. That's what it's all about. It's when it gets hard, when you prove what you're made of. That's why we're doing this challenge is for the hard times, not the easy runs. And these are the things that I keep telling myself when I don't feel like going out, but I'm gonna do it. Thanks for tagging along with me. Run number nine done. It's 64 degrees, 17.78 Celsius. Shower, sleep, I'll see you for number 10. Okay, run number 10. Run number 10 is in the bag. I did sleep before this run, but the downside is, is that it was very difficult to wake up. More good news is that I only have to do it two more times. It's getting chilly out here, 61 degrees Fahrenheit or 16.11 Celsius. Shower in bed. You are not gonna believe this. 
I did an out and back for my 11th run. The 11th of 12 is in the bag, by the way. I did an out and back and I took a wrong turn. I ended up running about half a mile more. Can you believe that on an out and back? I did stop my watch at the four mile mark just to keep everything tidy. The temperature, it just got the best yet. 56 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 13.33 Celsius. I am gonna have a shower, go back to bed. When I get up, it'll be the last one, run number 12. It's finally here, the last run. I am about to embark on run number 12 of the Goggins Challenge. I have about three minutes to go. I woke up about eight minutes ago. I've had a really good time doing this. It seems like a lot more time has passed than just 48 hours, but I will definitely be looking forward to having a little more space between when I wake up and when I go for my run. Let's knock this out. That's it, run number 12 is in the bag. Four miles every four hours for 48 hours, done. And I managed to make my last mile the quickest of all the 48. But that's probably because it was a beautiful day. It was slightly windy, the sun is shining, and it is 55 degrees or 12.78 Celsius. Come inside with me because I want to tell you about what I've learned and what is going to benefit you if you choose to do one of these challenges in the future. You know, I'd say the first and most important thing is to respect the challenge itself. I don't mind telling you now that I went into this thinking, eh, it's gonna be pretty easy. And that was looking at the distance alone. The distance wasn't the actual challenge for me. I think what I really underestimated was that this is an all encompassing challenge. It takes over your life for those 48 hours. And that is what makes it the real challenge. I was constantly thinking about the next run. The next run comes three hours and 15 minutes after your last run. And through the night, you have to get to bed. So you have to shower and do other stuff and then get to bed. Wake up with enough time to get out for your run. So really it is as much a sleep and an organizational challenge as it is a running challenge. And I think that is what makes it a really fun thing to try and attempt. You're not just testing your legs running, you're testing everything else. Now I mentioned in the video that I was getting a little anxious thinking about the next run and nowhere did that manifest itself more was during the overnight hours when I had to get sleep in between my runs. I ended up wearing two watches with two vibrating alarms just to make sure I got up. In fact, I would say that my biggest source of stress throughout this whole challenge was the stress of missing my run, hence the two alarms. Give yourself enough time to digest food. You have to squeeze in all your meals in between your runs. So even if you have to eat a bit earlier than usual or a bit later than usual, you can move your meals around in order to fit your runs. I found it best if I ate immediately after a run, that way I had a couple hours to digest before going out for my next run. And other than that, I really didn't adjust anything else. I didn't eat less, I didn't eat more. You saw in the video, I still had a cocktail. I actually did have a cocktail on Saturday night as well. And I really didn't notice any ill effects. But that was because I had one drink. If you are someone that likes to have a couple of drinks, I would probably just hold off until after the challenge is done. This whole challenge is nothing less than removing the barriers so you can succeed. Leave a cup next to the bed with something to drink in case you get thirsty in the night. Now maybe you do this already, I don't usually, but I also don't usually run and immediately shower and get into bed. Now I mentioned this early on in the challenge, but I found this was excellent training if you're training for an ultra marathon. And not because you are getting lots of miles in your legs at one time, it's because you are constantly running tired. You're not getting that recovery time in between your runs and that cumulative fatigue just adds up and then you have to go for another run. So you are teaching yourself to run on tired legs and ultra running is nothing if not that. With that said, because you are squeezing so many runs into such a short period of time, that first mile is always a tough one. I usually would step outside my front door about five minutes before the run so I could do some squats, some lunges, some leg swings, but still that first mile is tough. And you've got to do 12 of those throughout the 48 hours. It's great running training in general because it teaches you that it will get better. It teaches you to run through the hard times. And what I found supports that old ultra running adage, it never always gets worse. No matter how bad I felt at the beginning of my run, when I finished the run, I was feeling good. And if you take nothing else from this entire video, I want you to take that. Push through the hard times because it does get better. So I did find out something about myself. Well, I found evidence supporting what I already knew about myself. I need a lot more time in between waking up and going for a run. This four by four by 48 challenge forced me to get out of my comfort zone. I had a lot of fun doing this challenge, but it is not the type of fun that I want to have every weekend. And I think that is what makes it an epic challenge. If I had so much fun that I wanted to do it again and again, it means the challenge wasn't hard enough. My friends, if you did the Goggins challenge, I wanna hear all about it right in the comments below. New running videos twice a week. Be kind, be happy, run well. See you in a couple of days.